Hey guys, welcome to this new Blender tutorial, and today we'll see how to model this lemon squeezer in Blender. So in this part, we'll model the base shape, and then in the next parts, we'll add the details. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, select and delete everything. Then let's add a reference image and set the selection to the 3D cursor. Now go over here and turn down the opacity, set the depth to front and uncheck perspective. So the image is shown only in the orthographic view. Over here, let's move this image so that it is in the center. Then let's duplicate the image and rotate it. Now let's go into the side view, move the image and bring the squeezer from the side into the middle. Now let's add a sphere. Let's go into its properties here, make this view. And over here, let's move it up on the Z-axis. Then let's reduce its radius to match the squeezer. Here, adjust the segments. Make it something like this so that we can extrude the part out. Let's make this 12 here, which will keep it low poly at first. Once we create the base shape, then we'll apply the subdiv modifier to add details. Here we'll also adjust the rings at the side over here. Tweak and adjust this sphere correctly to match the image. Then here, let's select these faces and delete them. Then select these edges, rotate them, move and adjust. Over here, select these faces and go to the side and extrude down till here to the bottom. And let's move this here, then scale it this way. Now, select these vertices and move them according to the shape by adjusting. Then go to the front and scale this on the y-axis according to the shape. Over here, let's add loop cuts this way and adjust the number of cuts here. Then go to the side view and select these vertices and move them this way according to the shape. One by one, Select and move according to the shape. On the other side also, select the vertices and move them according to the shape. The very back vertex, move it back this way. Do the same thing for the others. Okay, so we're getting the shape right. Here, select these edges and move them back slightly. Then select this whole area part. Duplicate it and scale it slightly. As you can see in the reference image, it looks something like this inside. Then over here, fill this hole with face, press F, then select this edge and snap with this. Over here, select vertices and then snap with this. Then select these edges and then fill this part everywhere by pressing F. Now let's add a subdiv modifier. Over here, the mesh looks weird. In face orientation, we can see the normals are not right. So flip it with Shift N. Now this looks good. Over here, select this whole area part this way and duplicate it, then separate it by selection. Now, move the separated part slightly out. Then over here, select these faces and scale them slightly. Over here, select these side edges this way 
and then go into side view and extrude them out this way. Then select these vertices and move and align them one by one according to the reference image. Align everything correctly and with perfection. Now select these faces over here and duplicate them. Then scale them inwards slightly this way. Then select this edge and move and snap it with this close edge. Then extrude the edge out and snap it with the outer edge. On the top here, select X. This will enable symmetry on the X axis, so when you move a vertex on one side, it mirrors and moves on the other side too. Now, select each vertex one by one and snap it with the outer, next to it, closer vertex this way. This vertex snap with this vertex. Here, select these edges and fill it. Then press F and fill everything here. Now select these edges and scale them slightly. Undo it and select these edges too and then scale slightly. Okay, now select these edges and fill it, then select this edge and press F and fill everything. Here, let's dissolve this edge and here add a cut and then join these vertices here. Over here, slide this vertex this way then select this over here and grid fill it. Here, if we activate the subdiv modifier, then we can see the mesh looks weird. So select everything and flip normals. Press Shift N. Okay, now we have to scale this. So let's select this and scale it this way according to the shape. Scale all one by one according to the shape. Okay, now this is good. Here, let's select this and scale slightly. Now we'll subdivide this, uh, but before that, let's select these border edges one by one. And let's add edge crease for now to keep it sharp. For the back object also, select the border edges this way and add edge crease. Activate the subdiv modifier and now this looks good. Okay, over here on this part, let's delete this part. Select these edges and then grid fill it. Then select the back object also and delete this part. Then select these edges and grid fill it. Now select both objects, front and back, and go into edit mode. And here select these faces. Go into side view and move this way here accordingly as seen in the image. Scale slightly and adjust the shape. Then here select this edge. and scale slightly. Then select this edge and scale slightly and adjust the shape. Okay, now the mesh looks like this over here and this looks good. Okay, now we'll apply the modifiers, but before that, let's duplicate this and keep a copy of it because in case we mess this up later, now we'll apply the subdiv modifier. Now let's select everything and remove the edge crease from it. Now again, let's add a subdiv modifier. Over here, let's select these vertices and join them one by one everywhere. 
then select these edges and dissolve them here. Then here, select these edges and use loop tools space. Then here, select this and slide this way. Press G two times, then press E or F to slide with the bottom edge angle. Slide and adjust everywhere here. On the other side, also slide. Over here, select these vertices and merge at center and join. And here also, also do the same merge. Then over here, let's select these edges and dissolve them. Then add one edge and slide this way here. On the other side also, let's do the same thing. Merge these vertices over here, dissolve edges, and add one edge and slide here. Okay, now activate Subdiv and Shade Smooth this, and now this is good. Okay, now let's fix the other object. So select the full object and remove the edge crease. Select these edges and dissolve these edges and add an edge and slide. Okay, so dissolve these edges and let's go over here and select this border edge this way and bevel this. And over here, make this a complete one. Over here, select these vertices and slide this way here. Let's go over here and select this edge and bevel. Add a subdiv modifier and shade smooth this. And now this is good. Okay, here this shape has to be adjusted slightly. So let's select these faces and move them down. Okay, so let's select only these faces and move them down slightly. Then move on the x-axis this side slightly. Here also we have to adjust, so let's select these edges and move them down slightly according to the shape. Okay, now this shape looks good. Over here, let's select this edge and move it out slightly. Slide this edge slightly and slide these vertices slightly like this. Activate the subdiv modifier and now this is done. Okay, so we are done with this part and we've modeled the base shape. In the next parts, we'll add details and then add materials. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment and give your feedback below. Thanks for watching, and I'll meet you in the next part.